When a person is struggling or feeling hopeless, having thoughts of self-harm, or a person who is struggling with relapse, stuff doesn't come neatly tied up in a, in a box, and you can't kind of fix it and then you move on. You need to create the idea for people that there's something other than mental health treatment. You have to have a reason to wake up and friends to talk to and something to look forward to in your life. This is really the first time that our program has been able to bring clinical staff and direct care recovery staff together and working with clients at the same time. Um, I talked to him yesterday. He reported that he finally saw the doctor at Dana-Farber. Okay. So I think they're gonna have a treatment plan soon. Great. Um, he's gonna need support for like chemo and radiation and stuff though. We so you sound a little more encouraged by getting closer to a plan? A little, but he's still in a lot of pain, so it's still hard to like understand him when he's talking. Yeah. The clients are supported no matter where they live, so it's a series of kind of case management, clinical services, assessment, and connection to services, psychiatric rehabilitation, um, helping people develop connections in the community with the idea that people will be able to transition out of services no matter where they start. So it's really focusing on independence. They pick, they pick.